Want to get faster at editing audio for your podcast? Well, if that's the case, it's probably time to start learning some shortcuts. In this quick video, we're going to cover three ways to select sections of audio in Hindenburg Journalist and Hindenburg Journalist Pro. I'm Brian Insminger, and I really like Hindenburg Journalist. I'm a podcast host. I record and edit podcasts, and also I have a Facebook group of people who, like me, really like Hindenburg. And so here, here's the deal. If you edit a podcast, you probably are going to make a lot of selections and a lot of cuts. And one of the things you can do to speed up is to learn some shortcuts in terms of how you can select things. In Hindenburg, there are three ways that you can select sections or three ways we're going to talk about to select sections of audio. And if we look at the, uh, the screen here, I'm not talking about selecting an entire region like when I've just clicked on this. I'm saying, okay, what happens if I want to cut a little portion right here? And so that's what we're going to talk about. We have the, the one that you're probably most familiar with, which is selecting with a mouse or a trackpad. There's a documented keyboard shortcut. And there's also an undocumented keyboard shortcut that I really like. So first up, we're going to talk about the one that you're probably most familiar with. I have this section of audio right here. And let's say that I'm playing along and I find a section that I'm playing along and I find a section I want to cut. I can just grab that with my mouse, drag a clock across, and I've set my, my beginning point, my end point. Now with that selection, I can do whatever kinds of things I want. I can delete the section by hitting the delete key. I can copy the section. I can move that section. If I just grab it, I can drag it someplace else. I can do a lot of different things, and I can do that across multiple tracks. I only have the one track here, but I can do that with multiple tracks. This is probably the one that you're most familiar with, but it also requires that you use the, the mouse and you move things back and forth, and that eh, sometimes it's not the most easy way to do this. There's also a documented way to do this, and the keyboard commands are a little bit different on a Mac versus a PC, but one of the things I like about this is that it allows me to kind of keep my hands on the keyboard a little bit. So we're gonna take the same scenario, I'm gonna deselect that, and let's say that I'm playing along and I find something I find something that I want to cut, I can, I can scrub back to where I want to cut it. And then if I hit either control one or command one on a P, on a Mac, that's going to set my end point. That's this green point right here where that I can begin my selection. Then I'm going to scroll forward to the part that I want to I scroll forward to where I want to end that. And if I hit command two or control two on a, on a PC, that then creates the same kind of selection. I can do the same kinds of things that I did before. That's the documented keyboard shortcut. Now we're going to get to the one that I really like because it allows me to keep my fingers on the keyboard a lot more. So I've got this selection. I'm playing along, and I find a spot that I want to cut. I can use the scrub keys, and I'm not going to cover the scrub keys right here, but I can scrub back to where I want to put that. And if I hit the I key for in, that'll place the in marker. I can scrub forward to where I scrub forward to where I want to end, push the O key for out, and I've created the same kind of selection. That's one of the things that I like to do in order to keep my hands on the keyboard as much as possible. So that's the, the, docu the undocumented one where I've got an in and an out, just using the I and the O key. Now, as a bonus, if, if you don't like where the markers are exactly, you can always hop back over to the mouse and drag them to wherever you want them to be. And then once you've done that, you can do everything that we've talked about cutting, copying, deleting, moving, all kinds of stuff. That's just one way that you can speed up your editing workflow in Hindenburg Journalist or Hindenburg Journalist Pro. If you use Hindenburg Journalist or you'd like to know more about it, please consider joining our Facebook group. You can find us at hindiusers.com. That link will be in the description and it just redirects you right to that Facebook group. And if you have a podcast and you'd like help with your production, whether recording and editing, visit toptieraudio.com. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the show so that you don't miss any new videos and be sure to, be sure to share it with somebody else. Until next time, I'm Brian Ensminger. Let's speed up our editing in Hindenburg.